So, if you're walking through uh, the New Zealand uh, forest or woods, bush, whatever you want to call it, and you're walking um, past all the trees and they're kind of looking a bit like this one, but then you come to then you come to a tree that's covered in black stuff that looks like this, or, or this one over here, covered in black stuff, you see. You might you might you might uh, sort of look at it and think, oh gee, somebody's somebody set fire to that. Or you might think, I wonder if that's a fungus. And if you're thinking it's probably a fungus, then you're correct. Oh, it's a bloody plane. Go away. I'm trying to give a nature lesson. But anyway, you don't want to walk right past it because this is actually a native fungus. And you don't want to walk past it because you might see some of these. Our native scale bugs. Which are, well, you'll see their threads. The forests that surrounded my sister and I while we hiked through Nelson Lakes National Park back to St. Arnold along the Travers River and also along Lake Rotoiti are dominated by three species of native beech tree, the red, silver and mountain beeches. The unlikely engine of life in these forests is a small insect buried inside a hard capsule within the bark on the trunks and branches of many of the red and mountain beech trees. The native sooty beech scale insect, although one of our more abundant endemic insects, is largely hidden from humans. The capsules appear as rounded bumps on the bark but are usually hidden under a thick growth of sooty fungus. See, whenever a tree's black like that, you'll see them. You won't see them on there, you see them on there, but you see, if it's got that black color on it, that means that they're there. You can see, where's a good one? You can see them there, and then the thread and the little blob at the end. I think wasps like to eat these little fellas. Oh, that drop just dropped off. Was that me? Whoops. I'll get those ones, eh? There we go. Oh, that's a good shot. There's a good shot. The soft pink insect sits immobile inside its capsule with its mouth parts permanently inserted into the tree and feeds on the sap. They have a very simple body structure and the females of the species never develop wings or legs. In fact, once they hatch and crawl to find a place to settle down, they never move again. They are basically just mouth parts with a very long butt. Males settle in the bark like the females do, but eventually they pupate and develop wings and legs as an adult insect. However, I don't think they live very long after this life stage. There is a small hole in the capsule through which a butt filament sticks out as a long and pale thread. It excretes a sweet, sugar-rich solution in droplets on the end of its butt thread, and this solution is known as honeydew. Wherever honeydew drops, the sooty fungus grows on the abundant supply of sugar, forming a black sponge on the tree trunks and the ground below. What's that? The wasps like them. Yeah, the wasps attack them, but yeah, you see there's another one there, it's all black, and you can see them. All the, you can see all their threads there. Yeah, the, the introduced wasps, like the European ones. Yeah, they like whatever little sticky thing they produce, yeah. Oh, you can see that there's heaps of them here. It's all black. Oh, there was heaps of them there. Oh, no, there's, they're still there. Oh, that one's got a long thread. The energy-rich solution once helped to keep the forest full of life. It provided food for native birds such as tui, bellbirds and kaka, as well as native bats and lizards, and also native insects like beetles and moths. Oh, and not to forget the already mentioned sooty fungus. Unfortunately, introduced European wasps, also known as German wasps or yellow jackets, now monopolize this food supply, particularly during the summer. They aggressively harvest it to the detriment of native fauna. While native animals harvest the honeydew without causing any harm, introduced wasps often kill the scale insects by damaging their butt thread. Oh, my sister has just informed me that this is actually a wasp trap. Oh, did you read something about this down in the... Mm, no, I just, um, they've got them in water guns. Oh, they've got them in your area. Ah. Oh. Well, that's what, they'll, they'll be protecting those. 
from the wasps. Yeah. Unless we are able to reclaim the honeydew as a food source for native species, we will never be we will never be able to unlock the full potential of these forests. That is one of the central challenges for the Rotoiti Nature Recovery Project. So they're trying to get rid of the, the damn yellow jackets, the wasps that come along and take it all. Oh, and there we go. There's the um, there's the there's the fungus there. 